Hello, welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries. I've got some really exciting news to post today, but that's gonna have to wait for a bit because I need the missus to hold the phone so I can draw on a bit of paper and show you all. So you'll just have to wait for that, but the, the long and the short of it is that I've been to Raw Steel Choppers and we've got a little bit of a CAD drawing and a direction of travel and a shape for the overall frame of the bike. And, uh, and it's going to be mega, but uh, more on that to follow. In the meantime, I've been playing around with the old rotary table. What I was hoping to do is to get the rotary table here to operate as a CNC. Unfortunately, um, well, not unfortunately, but what I don't want to do is to, is to link it to the existing setup for CNC because that's working so well. I don't want a fourth axis. There's going to be an awful lot of backlash in this just because of the way that the whole table is, um, is constructed. So I'm just going to run it in one direction only. And I want a nice little standalone separate control box with an Arduino. Probably put it in something like a box like this. Uh, get a little LCD for it and a couple of buttons so I can do simple divides or make a fancy power feed. Um, there's quite a few moving parts to this. And what I was hoping to do was to, um, to get it all operational with the bits I've got lying around rather than uh, spend a lot of money. So I happen to have one of these project boxes lying around, happen to have an old stepper motor lying around, happen to have a spare belt for the uh, X axis over there. Um, and that pulley was about four quid on eBay. So in the other shed, I happen to have a 932nd Morse 2 drill and a 58 reamer with a Morse 2. So in the lathe over in the corner, um, the little Myford, which is, um, oh, if you can see, little Myford over there. So, on, oh, there's a dog. Oi, bugger off. You're not supposed to be in here. Um, <laughs> yeah, so the, the Myford's over there. So I managed to get a, a lovely um, fit for this pulley on this shaft here. And the way that this table works is this shaft, if you can see that, that moving there, this shaft is like a fine feed. You've got a coarse feed here on that handle. And there would be a handle here so that when you engage those gears you then get a fine feed and it is a very fine feed. So to get this bolted onto here with this spare belt across there, uh, that, that will give us a nice fine feed for that motor. What I'm gonna have to do though is make a little collar that goes in there because as you can see, if that gets um, too much use backwards and forwards, it opens that up and eventually it's gonna slip. So I need a collar to hold this in place uh, along there or a spring so that the spring holds it in and if you want to use that handle you just manually squish the spring and, and turn the handle so it's a bit of a work in progress i think um, i've come to a bit of a head because i've run out of t-nuts i've got two t-nuts holding the rotary table onto here and i've got my other four t-nuts in here because they'll be needed to hold down jobs so i've run out of t-nuts to, to pop, bolt this to the, the table um I've run out of wire to connect at the stepper motor and I've come to the bit where using the stuff I've got lying around, I've kind of run out of options. So I'm going to call it a day. Uh, it's quite a nice day. I might even take the old guzzy for a spin and that'll cheer me up a bit, blow out the cobwebs. When I've got the uh, <laughs> somebody to hold the phone as a camera, I'll be able to do an update on the frame for the bike. More on that later. So hope you've enjoyed this inane ramblings again and I'll speak to you soon. Thanks for watching.